Hi guys, my name is Pratik Rati. Thank you very much for being on our channel. Channel's name is Apanch and you are watching What Matters. 24th February 2022 could very well be remembered as one of the significant day in the history of modern era, when a full-scale invasion was declared by Russia on Ukraine. Months of meticulous planning and amassing of troops, neglecting all foreign sanctions warnings and holding this card until last moment. Russian President Vladimir Putin at 8.29 hours Indian Standard Time announced a full-scale military operation in Ukraine. Putin said the military action will seek to demilitarize Ukraine. Russia is using high precision weapons to disable military targets and not targeting civilians. He called on Ukrainian service members to lay down their arms and go home. Just an hour into the war and international oil prices had already touched 100 dollar mark. Meanwhile, diplomatic war was being fought in UN where Russian diplomats said special operation declared by President Putin is to protect the people of Ukraine who have been suffering for years. We aim to de-genocide Ukraine. Decision was made in line with Article 51 of UN Charter. On the other hand, Ukrainian diplomat said Russian president on record declared the war. It's the responsibility of UN to stop the bloody war. At 10:23 hours, Ukraine had closed its airspace for civilian flights. Ukraine imposed martial law and rang in raid sirens amid Russian attacks. Many Ukrainians were also seeing making beeline for ATMs and stocking up on groceries and essentials as panic sets in after Russia invades the nation. War effect was also felt in Moscow where market had fallen by more than 45% by 1400 hours Indian standard time. In a Twitter announcement, Ukraine President Zelensky announced of severing all diplomatic ties with Russia. Zelensky also appealed to Russians to stage protests against Moscow's decision to send troops into Ukraine. At 2100 hours reports came that Czech Republic had stopped issuing visas to Russian citizens. Meanwhile, US President Joe Biden meets G7 allies in an emergency meet. During a press conference separately late night IST, Zelensky updated that Russian troops has captured airfield near Kyiv and urged world leaders to banish Russia from the SWIFT banking system, adding that a new iron curtain is cutting Russia from the world. Meanwhile, back home, Prime Minister Modi came into action and spoke to Russian President Vladimir Putin over phone and appealed for an immediate cessation of violence and called for concerted efforts from all sides to return to the path of diplomatic negotiations and dialogue. Prime Minister Modi also sensitized the Russian president about India's concern regarding the safety of the Indian citizens in Ukraine, which happens to be 18,000 in number, especially students, and conveyed that India attaches the highest priority to their safe exit and return to India. By midnight, IST Chernobyl nuclear plant had already been seized by Russia, as per the reports. This was the end of day one updates. Do check out the space same time tomorrow for further updates. We pray for the safety of Ukrainians. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.